Programming in a central is done through the C++ language. However, programming in a central will be twice as fast. Let me show you how. This is a basic code. All it does is clears the screen and displays some text. Here you can see how it works. Normally in C++ programming, every time you add a new function, for example, function get text that returns some kind of a string. In normal C++ programming, you need to define this function before you actually use it. So you would need to define it over here if you'd like to use it over here. However, in the central engine, you don't need to do that. You can define the function anywhere you want. It still works. In C++, if you create a new source code element, and you define the function over there, Then normally you would need to write a header and in this header file you would need to write the declaration of this function. In the other code file you would need to include that header but in the central engine you don't have to. You can use this function which is defined in the other code just like that. This applies to all of the symbols that you would normally create, like classes, functions, and variables. Let's create a new class. Let's create a member variable and some function. The same as with the getText function, you can use it straight away in a different source code file. Normally in C++, when wanting to set a default value for a class member, you would need to write a constructor. And set the value in there. However, in a central engine, you don't need to do that. You can just initialize the value like that and the constructor code will be automatically created for you. A central's code editor has also a very advanced autocomplete system. Just type the most important characters and the best suggestions will appear on the list. It's also very easy to use. For example, if you'd like to go to definition of this function, all you need to do is middle click on this function like that and you get transported to the source code file which you can see that is highlighted over here in the essential engine, graphics and display header file. 
you can also enable the view mode which is perfect for browsing the headers for example you can just hover over an element and on the right side you will see its definition if a line is too long then it will be displayed below the mouse cursor you can also hide the function bodies with this functionality or private members of a class or comments like that use the right mouse button to go back to your previous location if you want to find a symbol by its name use the edit and find or just press the Ctrl F and start typing it you'll get a list of classes, functions and variables when using the code editor you can compile the codes for all platforms supported by the engine for example select a different target Android and start building on Android you will need to set up some configuration paths for Google Android SDK and Google Android NDK and the Java Development Kit after that you can build again for Android we need to also specify the package name and try again as you can see the codes get compiled for Android platform if you ever need to do debugging just open the project in Visual Studio all of the codes from the code editor will automatically be converted to C++ under Visual Studio Over here you can do normal debugging. Code editor also supports using external third party libraries. To do that, double click on the application properties where you can specify the include libraries, directories and headers. Code editor is automatically integrated with the entire project. For example, you can drag and drop project assets directly into the code. Or you can use this function autocomplete for project elements and insert elements according to their name. You can also middle click on the project element and you will see that it gets automatically opened in its editor when you insert a project element what you actually insert is an ID of that element you can copy this element and paste it to the search box in the project and you will see highlighted over here Since it's easier in the codes to see the element's name instead of its ID, this button is enabled by default, which will display the name. When in view mode, you can see that hovering on the element will automatically display it.